Oh, yes. Then what can I get for you? What drink did you want with the meal? Uh, probably Sprite. Any sauces? Oh, Chick-fil-A sauce. Yes, you sir. All right, you too, bro. Oh my gosh. Target acquired. Yo, what is back, guys, for another channel, YouTube? I feel like a weirdo, because I'm literally in the back of the Target parking lot right now. Let me show you. There's Target all the way over there. And I'm back here. But that's all right. Obviously, by the title of this video, you know we're going down. I posted an Instagram story asking you guys to ask some questions. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. But of course, with some chick fella. Before we get started, let's just look at this. Oh my. Stop it. All right. I'm going to dive into the first question as I dive into a Chick-fil-A sandwich. Also, Chick-fil-A sponsor me we're not sponsored yet but sponsor me all right the first question how old are you so i'm 21 i turned 22 december 14th of this year so it's gonna be liddy oh my oh my oh my gosh look how nice they did it they put the straw in the receipt the best Sprite I've ever had. Do you have any hobbies that you pursue in your free time? I play video games quite a bit. Um, wow. Yeah, not much else other than like social media, I would say. That's really what I'm focusing on right now and that's pretty much what I do all the time in my free time. Favorite music artist. Okay. I would have to say, mm, I'll do a top five. This is in no order, but Surfaces, Harry Styles. We got Daglo, The One Keon. He's like a Christian rapper. And that's four. What's the fifth one? Forrest Frank. He is the lead singer of Surfaces, but there it's different. It's Separate. So yeah, there's my top five. They're my favorite. We got favorite sport and sport team. I don't really watch sports that much. I'm kind of like one of those people that like watch sports when it's like a big event, like the World Series or like the Super Bowl when there's like parties and I just pretend to know what is going on. But in reality, I just don't. Since I live in Pennsylvania, uh, I'm gonna have to go with the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm definitely gonna get a lot of hate for that, but I don't care. Yeah, go Eagles. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Not like a dark blue, like a kind of light blue like my hat. That's like a really nice color that I like. Favorite brand of cereal. <sighs> mm. Now we're getting to the juicy questions. There are these things called Oreos. I'm gonna put them up on the screen. Let me know in the comments if you've eaten them. But as a sweet cereal, this is probably one of the best cereals I've ever had. But if we're going like not really that sweet, I'd say Cheerios. And they're really good. Favorite video game if you play any. Like I said, I play a lot. I play Fortnite, even though that like 10 year olds play that. I've played COD. I don't really play it that much. Best piece of advice you've ever heard or could give? This is a good question. I think the best one is regarding trust and it's trust is gained in drops and lost in buckets. So basically it's like you wanna be careful on losing someone's trust because it takes longer to gain trust than to lose trust is basically what that's saying. So that's, I think, I think that's a really good one. Movie recommendations. I think I'm gonna do five, like I did top five last time. I'll recommend these to anyone. Jaws, Shutter Island. That is a crazy movie. I'd say Monster House. I used to watch this movie all the time. That was three, right? That was three? Oh. Hmm. Four, I'd probably say Spider-Man 3, just cause Bully McGuire is a G. You know what? I'll say Drive. That's a great movie. What are the things that 
is constantly worrying you? Um, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really worry about things too much. Maybe about social media, about how I'm always trying to keep up with it. Just being consistent and posting. I mean, other than that, just how I'm performing at work, I think is one thing, but I don't really worry about that too often. Coffee or tea? I mean, I don't really drink any of these. If I were to pick one, I'd probably pick tea. No, I'd probably keep, mm. I probably pick coffee just because it's very versatile and you can do a lot of things with it, like latte, espresso, black. Comment if I'm wrong, but like you can't really do that many things with tea. I mean, the only thing you can do is like put honey in it. But yeah, that's my take. What do you think is the coolest part about being a follower of Christ? This is an amazing question. So the coolest part about being a follower of Christ is that I have this good news of the gospel, of this truth, and I get to share it with everyone and it's free. And I think that's the coolest part. Just having Jesus on my side, having that relationship, it's really just an amazing thing. If you have one, what's your favorite part of the Bible? It could be a chapter, verse, etc. I think if we're talking about books, if we're talking about, actually, if we're talking about books, I'd have to go with Matthew, just because it pinpoints the life of Jesus and his ministry. The Sermon on the Mount in that book, it calls us the light. Like there's so much knowledge and wisdom in that book. If we're talking about verses, I'll probably have to say 2 Corinthians 5.17. Let me pull it up. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has gone, the old has gone, the new is here. So basically that's saying when we get into a relationship with Jesus, our old lives have passed away and we are new creations. Like, that's literally insane to think about. Growing up, what did you want your career to be? I was never like that typical like kid that wanted to be like a firefighter or a cop. I always actually wanted to be in front of a camera. I always wanted to create content, be YouTuber. What age did you come to Christ? I went to camp transitioning from freshman year of high school to sophomore year, so like that summer. So whatever age I was then, Favorite show, you already know, it's Outer Banks. It's just such a vibe. I've always wanted to live down in like North Carolina, South Carolina, and I think it's so funny that that show is based off the Outer Banks and I, I go there every summer. What time do you go to sleep? Honestly, right now, I'm kind of bad. I've been going to sleep in the AM, but I'm trying to get better with my sleep schedule. But my goal for sleep, is go to bed at 9.30, wake up at 5.30 or 6.30 in the morning, and then boom, get my schedule done. Where do you see yourself in five years? Mm, this is a really good question. Being a large company owner of something that I created myself, and that's all I'm gonna say. I got some things in the works that kinda accompany that. So yeah, that's a business owner. Do you prefer hot weather or cold weather? I'd rather be hot than cold. You can go in the water. You can cool down with a shower. I live in Pennsylvania, so I get a lot of snow. And we only get like four, three or four months of like really good, nice hot weather. But those other freaking months, it's cold and dreary. And I feel like it's just not the vibe. Do you have days when you feel far away from God? Honestly, yeah. Sometimes there will be weeks where I just don't feel God's presence. But one thing that really helps me out is that I remember that my emotions are like shifting sands and like I'll be angry or sad or happy one moment and I'll be the complete opposite the next moment. So like I just realized that I can't really rely on my emotions for something that is so much bigger than me. It doesn't matter whether you feel God or not. Not, it's not based on your feelings it's based on truth and so what is the truth it's that I am a child of God and we are all children of God and he will love me even when I don't pursue him but if you don't feel him that doesn't mean to not pursue him pursue him with all your heart even if you don't feel like it not a question I just want to tell you that I love your vids bro peace bro it's stuff like this that like really helps me keep going because some days I'm like Oh, I feel I don't feel like doing it and then I get comments like that and it's just like you guys encourage me so much and I, I love y'all all right I think I'm gonna dive into the next chicken sandwich like you guys don't realize how much I love chick-fil-a like I literally have chick-fil-a sauce in my car we stay strapped
with the sauce. It actually low-key might be an addiction. Oh my gosh, they really filled this guy up. Hmm. Anyway, what are your top three favorite Christian songs? Okay, it definitely would be Communion by Maverick City, Good by Cody Carnes, and probably Gratitude by Brandon Lake, but like all the live versions. If you guys wanna follow my uh, worship playlist on Spotify, it's right there. Can you share your whole testimony? So yes and no, yes, I can share my whole testimony, but no, it's not gonna be in this video. If you guys want, I can definitely do a testimony video in the future. So if you guys like that, just comment down below and I definitely can do that. This is probably gonna be my last question, but do you have any tips to people who want to be Christian influencers like you? The number one advice I'd have to say is, just keep all your focus on God because what I've experienced is that I can focus on the numbers, I can focus on how many views my stories, my posts, just everything gets. And I kind of shift the focus from God to me and like having me being the center of attention. But yeah, just keep your focus on God. Remember what and who you're doing it for. So yeah, guys, that's basically it for this video. Thank you for everyone who asked a question on that Instagram story. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'll put them up right here and their links will be in the description. So follow me on all of that and make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a post from me and I will see you guys later. Peace out.